And is it working, um, do you think? Uh, do black lives matter more because you have a different president now? Uh, is he helpful? <laughs> Well, we all know he's not. <laughs> I mean, I, well, he Donald, seems Trump, to... Donald Trump's made the point that surely all lives matter. Yes, And that's, I'd imagine, something that is, is thrown at you very regularly, that actually yes. it's not just about mm. black lives matter. Yeah, and I think what I say to that often is black lives matter is not an exclusionary phase, uh, phrase, it's a focus. And we get to focus on um, our community that's being devastated by mass criminalization, by state violence. And do I think... Um, black Lives and the Black Lives Matter movement has been able to change uh, the landscape. I definitely do. I mm. mean, I don't think I would be on this morning show mm. if we hadn't been able to. Have, have the material conditions for black people changed? No. I don't blame that on Black Lives Matter, though. I blame that on state government. I blame mm. that on the federal government for um, not doing what they're supposed to do for us. I think sometimes in the UK, maybe we delude ourselves. Yes, you do. That, <laughs> <laughs> that we don't have some of the extreme issues that we've seen that have come out of, of the US. And I, and I know you were as well, Ben, were utterly shocked by some footage that appeared on social media. It was posted by yes. Rufuaro Chisango, a student at Nottingham Trent University that was left terrified by racist chanting. She had to lock herself in her room. And uh, we're going to show you this clip, but we should say that you might find it very upsetting, but we feel we want to show it to you anyway. Leave her alone! What was that, sorry? Say you are So that's at a university. So a university student, she's barricaded herself into her, into her own bedroom. So yes. they're outside the door. Uh, Nottingham Trent have made some arrests regarding this matter and it's mm -hmm. being investigated. What was your reaction, Patrice, mm. when you saw that? Because Kate and I, one of the things that I think struck us was they're at a university, they're in a place of learning, yes. which mm. is often one of the most tolerant, or, or if, even if it's not tolerant, it's a place where people are exchanging ideas all the mm. time and communicating. And but, welcoming And that. welcoming that debate, mm -hmm. but never in that sort of aggressive, yeah. violent way. Well, I actually um, saw this tweet, because she had, she had uh, recorded mm. it, and one of our local chapter members in LA said, Patrice, I know you're gonna be in the UK, try to link up with this sister out here who just experienced this really traumatizing experience. So I tweeted at her, and hopefully now that she, hopefully she's watching this or someone's mm -hmm. watching this, let her know that I would love to meet with her. But um, this is the reality. Uh, Anti-black racism in universities in the UK. Yes, yes, but black I think black students having to bolt themselves in their room because it, of that kind of horrific racist abuse. Part I mean, of what's happening accurate. right now, though, is there is a a, a resurgence of mm. white nationalism. It's not just happening in the U.S. It's happening across the globe, mm. and young people, um, young. Uh, white students in particular are being inspired by being bigots and I think we have to be careful yeah. and not just think that the US is the only place I think you know here in the UK and I've worked with lots of black folks Black Lives Matter UK who've been talking about police deaths in custody right mm. or the um, uh, mass incarceration of black people here in the United Kingdom um, and and we have to have these conversations. We have to have mm. a conversation that doesn't just say that the U.S. is the place where bad things happen mm. to black mm. people. Mm. Ha bad things happen to black people around the globe. Some mm. strong leadership as well, which is key. Uh, uh, Patrice, thank you very much for joining thank us. Thank you for having uh, me. Ruth Ferrer, if there is somebody that maybe Ruth is watching or maybe a family yeah. friendly, I'm sure that she would enjoy meeting you, Patrice, yes. and, and, and hooking up like you said. And we'd love to talk to you yeah, as well. Yeah, we would very much so. Um, thank you very much for coming in, thank and you. best of luck with the book and, and the rest thank of your you. time over here. Thank you.